first pulse. This cloud becomes darker and moves slowly westward. Second pulse. Some clouds move westward and merge with the clouds here. Most of the clouds moves eastward and merge with the clouds near 170 degrees west. This band of clouds are thick and could become another typhoon. Let us hope it will not become super typhoon. Now let's go back to September 10th and 11th where the two consecutive pulse occur and analyze the next tropical disturbance. After the first and second microwave pulse we can see that more clouds merge to this clouds. As these clouds pass the international dateline another 9 to 10 hours microwave pulse occur on September 16th at 8 p.m. UTC. These cloud becomes darker as it pass 170 east longitude. Let us hope that it will not become super typhoon. Now let us review the latest three days animation from September 16th, 8 p.m. UTC and ends on September 19th, 7 p.m. UTC. We can still see here the microwave pulse that occur on September 16th at 8 p.m. UTC until September 17th, 6 a.m. UTC. After the microwave pulse disappear, the clouds continuously moves westward slowly. Just one day had passed, another microwave pulse appear on September 18th at 8 p.m. UTC. After the pulse have gone, we can see that the clouds have darkened further. Now let's hope it will not become another super typhoon or let's hope the cloud moves northward or dissipate. The following is the last three days animation from September 19th, 7 p.m. UTC to September 22nd, 7 p.m. UTC. The cloud that was in latitude 10 degrees north and longitude 170 degrees west have moved towards southeast of Guam and started circulating. The 18-hour surface analysis chart from Japan Meteorological Agency starting on September 21st at 12 UTC shows a low pressure to be stationary then move slowly towards Guam. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center in Pearl Harbor issued a tropical cyclone formation alert. One formation of a significant tropical cyclone is possible within 135 nautical miles either side of a line from 11.9 north 148.1 east to 17.5 north 147.9 east within the next 12 to 24 hours. Available data does not justify issuance of numbered tropical cyclone warnings at this time. Winds in the area are estimated to be 18 to 23 knots mets at imagery of 091830Z indicates that a circulation center is located near 12.4 north 148.1 east. The system is moving north northwestward at 10 knots. Here is the Google Earth graphic overlay issued my joint typhoon warning center in Hawaii. Let's hope the pressure system moves continuously northward.
We can see here the latest animation from September 22nd midnight UTC to September 24th at 7 p.m. UTC. Advisory number 1 was issued on September 24th at 12 p.m. UTC for Tropical Depression Camuri. The 12 hours forecast on September 25th at 6 a.m. UTC indicates that the tropical depression will be upgraded to tropical storm. As tropical storm Camuri moves continuously northward it is no longer a threat to the Philippines. Another bands of clouds are passing south of Hawaii Islands. A microwave pulse ring appear on September 24 at 10 a.m. UTC near the international dateline. Other people call it harp rings. This will be my last video about tropical depression Camuri. We will continuously monitor these clouds here as it moves westward. Let's watch continuously the latest 72 hours in this video.